Hi folks, Don Bailey here with, from Suburban Tool with our tips and tricks of the day. We're going to talk about cylinder squares. Now that's kind of odd, cylinder square. Now think about that. Well, the idea of a cylinder square is not new. It's been around for a lot of years. We're going to show you how it works. We're going to show you why a cylinder can be square and a square needs to be a cylinder. There are several ways to look at cylinder squares as to how we're going to use them. So we're going to talk and show you how we're going to use three different methods of a cylinder square. Uh, Glenn, if you could zero in, in here on this little guy right here. We call this a cylinder square because it is round as a cylinder and it's square to the surface. So if I rotate this in any direction, it will be perfectly square with the surface because it's been lapped within millions and we know it's exactly the way it's supposed to be. And behind it, I don't know, can you see that, Glenn? We got another one back here, it's a little bit bigger. And then we got our Mac Daddy job right here. That's a big mama. And all of these are cylinder squares. And its purpose is to find out if, if its mate part, or the part we want to inspect, is in fact going to be square with the surface on the surface plate. So we already know that this is square, so we can put it up against here, like so, and we can check it. Now you might say, how do we check that without any instrument? It's easy. We don't need an instrument to check with a cylinder square to see if it is square, and I'm going to show you how we do that. This is our trick of the day. We're going to take a piece of paper, put it back here like so. I'm going to put a light source on it like that. And I'm going to look through here, and I don't see any light. Now, believe it or not, if you can see light through here, you can see a tenth, a tenth of a thousandth, one tenth of a thousandth. You can see right through there with that piece of paper back there. And it turns a little bit blue if it's about one or two tenths, which is kind of unique. So it's pretty cool. So that's one way to check to see if this angle plate is square with the surface. So how cool is that? A cylinder square actually checks something to see if it's square with the surface. And here's another way. We can use it as a master. So we can take an indicator like so, and we can first of all line it up with the height that we've got here on the part that we're going to check. And we're going to bring it over to the cylinder square and we're going to zero in our gauge which is right there. I don't know, can you see that, Glenn, or can we get that a shot of that indicator? All right, folks, so you can see that the we've zeroed in the indicator. It's exactly, this is a, a tenth indicator, by the way. Each line is one tenth of a thousandth. And then we're going to bring it over here to the part we're going to check. And you can see that's within about 50 millionths, which is pretty darn close. So this is another method of checking for squareness. This is one of Suburban Tools magnetic cylinder squares. By the way, we make these. We make the angle plates. We make the cylinder squares. So we have to make these because it's, our, it's our, the core of our inspection equipment. And we know that this is our master equipment. We know that it's right. But more importantly, I'm here to show you how to use it. Hey, folks. So we've got the magnetic cylinder square sitting on the uh, face of the angle plate. And we're going to come over and we're going to check it now with our indicator. And uh, we're zeroing it in here. On, I don't know if you can see that, Glenn, on the meter. We got zero right there. And we're going to come over here and check it. And we got within two tenths. So uh, this, we know that this angle plate is square and parallel, a square rather, not parallel, but square within two tenths. So those are the three methods in which you can use to check for parallelism uh, using cylinder squares. So stay tuned for our next Tips and Tricks by Suburban Tool. I'm Don Bailey and thanks for watching.